Hell? What the hell does that mean? Do you want to go to hell? We drank a lot of hellless beer last night. Hallelujah! We did it! We are the real hell's angels. Do you hear the hell spell? Hell? See you in Taipei? Maybe? Welcome to the hell. That it was a real environment. Uh, uh, it was cold, wet, dirty, and this character I play, she lives in this cave. You know, it's not you are in a theater room and it's warm and everything is just imagination. It was uh, real dirt. <laughs> everything is it's more direct. It's it's it's, it's, uh, it's it makes you feel a little bit uh, I don't know. Greasy. Greasy. It, it, yeah. It's scratchy. <laughs> yeah. Because other places is in theater, uh, we just can do an efficient job. But here, you need uh, more than being efficiency. You need to be... Uh, creative. Yeah, creative. I, I, I don't know why we play here. Right? Um, so to say, the hell belongs to us. 
well, I don't know because the, the, like the Catholics, they say hell don't hell don't exist, and I don't know how it is with Buddhists, but I don't think it's like the most important thing about Buddhism, this hell thing, and um, so I think it, it has a lot of potential for interpretation because um, there is not because uh, people can reflect hell, so I think why why not um, use this uh, for as an artist space also to to bring people together and to make them think and uh, make them feel human and not make them feel Christians or Muslim or whatever. So. Yong 这些东西不是他们要的东西他们要的是其实是从他们类似的想法出来的地域或者是想象中当为什么可是我也一直在看这个部分所以这个问题我其实还没有得到答案在这个演出的画面其实并不是从我们自己单一的角度出发它也可能
concept of hell because um, I always bring that together with the religion and um, I'm just not into religion. It's, it's nice to, 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 to see the, 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 the working with this subject and, and just bring um, pictures out of it and, and telling a story non-verbal and um, so for me hell has a, has a, is a, is, is more visual now than before. I'm floating also a little bit <laughs> this morning. So now we go and hike. And I think it will be great. that my grandfather told me when we were driving to the Alps. Uh, and the bridge breaks down and the devil is like, oh, I can help you people to rebuild the bridge for them. The first one who crosses the bridge will belong to me. Um, and then the villagers, they say, oh, no. He builds the bridge and they say, oh, no, now we have to, we have to, um, kill someone actually by sending him over the bridge so they they, they trick the devil and they send the goat as the first uh, to cross the bridge so and then the, the devil gets very angry and he throws a huge stone down in the valley and this stone is still like uh, when you drive to the Alps with the car, you, you, you cross this stone. So this is like the legend of this stone. That's why this stone is there. It's a huge stone. So, and then each time we, we, we pass the stone, my grandfather would start to tell us the story, like every time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. Go! Uh, in human life, doesn't matter what culture, it has a function for serving people, of uh, being uh, injustice or whatever their emotion has, uh, or their relationship, or the condition of their life. And through hell, they can get comfort rather than really to think it's going to be a punishment or not. But this is like a reflection or parallel of uh, human life. It just be there to, for you to, uh, to, to be comforted. Oh, I know, I understand. Oh, let's cry. Floor, like, oh, 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 oh. And then I'm like, oh, I'm pregnant. But I don't watch it. You know, this move symbolizes yeah. the neglect. Yeah. <laughs> then I would make something like. Mm. We are kind of de de religionized people, de spiritualized society. Uh, we have I have only very simple ideas of hell, which was a flame and Satan, which has is not as all as powerful as the war pictures you see every day. Uh, this is to me the real hell is the war is the wars 
This is, this, I cannot imagine a worse place. No image can be stronger than this, what's, what's happening uh, every day to me. So this was for me a mythological more experience to go into an image world, actually, to go into a metaphor of, of hell, you know. And a simplifying story also, like we have a woman that's raped or a person that has gone through a very difficult situation and very often these stories end with the death or they end with the fact that she's being raped or, you know, it, or then it goes into banal solutions or, and with this, I feel like we don't, not using language and using the power of images and atmospheres, we are actually showing a transformation from a hellish atmosphere to a reborn moment. This is to me like the <laughs> the new thing uh, to this woman or this person can be reborn or can forget or can get rid of these wounds. If it's reborn or not or if she's the same or not, I don't really care for me. It's more a psychological process about humanity or about uh, or about um, dramas and to be reborn several times in one life maybe. And so this is a mythological, tr it's uh, like simpler, the story. We don't, uh, we don't really explain how she did that or how you get reborn. It's to find pictures that everybody can somehow relate without being too banal, but also not being too complex. And so it's more of a, <coughs> yeah, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Also more images now in my head, but not really about hell. Or about humans. <laughs> what I really liked was that after the shows, people are talking about what they saw and talking about their concepts of hell and if they saw it on stage or what was strange to them or what did confuse them or what did was totally clear for them. And it just showed me that it's something very complex and based on the in individual history and that was really nice because it evolved out of the project.